motorway that goes to Blackpool. Yes. And and Theo, he's sleeping back at the back. Let's show him. Yes, there at the back look is sleeping. He slept the entire way, all the way from Chesterfield. He slept, so. <laughs> So we just parked up now. Um, the hotel we're at is just over there. We've just parked outside the hotel. You'll see that later on when we go to check in. Um, so yeah, here we are at the seaside. It's not too cold today. You say it's the uh, 29th of March today. So I think it's about seven degrees, something like that. It could be warmer, but at least it's not raining. Just in the distance there, that's the North Pier. And um, just in a second you'll see the Blackpool Tower there you go the Blackpool Tower I've just looked online and it's closed until the 5th of April which obviously we're not going to be here then so um, yeah we're not going up the Blackpool Tower unfortunately however there is uh, the Blackpool Dungeons um, in the same building as that so um, we're going to be going there instead we should be going today I think there's uh, yeah, there's some tickets available today. I need to pre-book them, which I'll do in a bit. And uh, yeah, you'll see the Blackpool Dungeons today. Yeah. You excited? Yeah, I'm very excited, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're quite far away from uh, from everything, really. Um, this bit of Blackpool is just... just um, this bit of Blackpool is just hotels. There's nothing here on the seafront or anything, so... Nothing really starts until you get to the North Pier, so um, which is, and the North Pier is pretty much uh, where the Blackpool Tower is as well. So, but uh, yeah, the beach looks quite nice actually. Uh, we might have a walk down on there later as well. So, yeah, see you in a bit. All right, so we're now at the North Pier. Uh, we're just gonna have a little walk along here. Uh, it seems one of the uh, the smaller piers out of the three, from what I've seen. Central Pier seems to have a lot more on it. Um, 
not much not much on it either i think there's like a slide there as well but i'll have a walk along see how it is and um, we're really close to the blackpool tower now um and there's a war memorial here uh for the first and second world war that's really big that's one of the best ones i've seen that it's a really really good memorial that and we've still got all the wreaths with all the poppies on so um yeah it's brilliant that and here's the entrance for the north pier so as you can see this is where you know you start to get all your shops and stuff because all the way north of here is just uh just hotels really so yeah this is really is the start so um yeah got a little arcade here you're gonna see lots of arcades in blackpool wine must be about phew, well a lot 20 30 i guess but there's a lot way more than there is in skegness i won't look in there because uh well i'll give you a little peek it's just same as every other amusement you've ever seen in your life i'm not going to walk around there's no point and uh yeah here we are down the north pier <laughs> look at this roy chubby brown still playing in blackpool he's a good comedian him i like his comedy Oh, he's on tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no way. No, we can't go on because we've got a baby. Oh, that's such a shame. I'd love to go. Saturday 30th of March. He's here tomorrow. That is such a shame, that. Baby not then? No, you can't take a baby in. It's, it's like a comedy club. And we've got no one to look after him. I could go alone, but uh, no. That's not, that's not what the holiday's about. Here we are, North Pier. You can see the other two piers, that's the central pier just there. So look at this, we were just wondering when this was built. It was built in 1863, so that makes it 161 years old. It's because wine was asking, oh, the, the wood did he's replacing on the floor? And I said, you know, this is very old, you know, it's over 100 years old, but yeah, 161 years old. Nearly as old as your mama. Day. <laughs> and yeah you can see that we've pretty much walked from where you can see there we've walked all that so far we've walked nearly two miles i'd say it's quite a distance it's quite a distance from our hotel to the to north pier all right so we reached the end of the pier now um yeah it's quite a quiet pier not much to say to be honest i'd say you've got the bar just here um, let's say it's only uh, it's only 11 o'clock in the morning, so it's still closed. Um, I think the main thing on this pier is this is this theatre here, the Longthorn Theatre. Um, this is where Roy Chubby Brown's playing tomorrow, from what you saw earlier. Um, shows you like all the acts they've had here over the years. There's a little thing about the history here. So this was built in 1874, so you know, less than 10 years after the pier was built. You can pause the video if you want to read that. And um, yeah, here are all the acts that I played. So it started in 1939 with Frank Randall. I've never heard of him, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> the first one I've heard of is Bruce Forsyth. Good game, good game. Uh, Des O'Connor, I've heard of him. Morecambe Wise, I've heard of them. So yeah, a lot of people that I played here. Oh, the Crankies. So yeah, this is it. Apart from that, you've got the slide here, which uh, looks fun. I'm sure Wine wants to go on it. Would you like to go on it, Wine? You can take Theo, you can put Theo on your lap and go down. No. Why not? It's not safe. It's not safe, of course it's safe. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything from the North Pier. So um, yeah, we're just gonna walk along, walk along the front now. Probably end up at the uh, Central Pier in a bit, so. Wine doesn't feel well. <laughs> She's struggling to walk on here. Why, why? It's not safe. Why says it's not stable and it's not safe. Um, she's saying this because if you, look, if you look down, there's a little gap. Um, 
I just put my camera right in and that's the sea just there you can see so so as you're walking along you can see down you can just see the sea coming up right underneath you so it's making wine feel uneasy and she's scared so <laughs> See if wine can win anything on the 2P machine. So all you can really win is some uh, some ducks. Good wine banging on the glass. What did you win, wine? Huh? Nothing. You just wasted 30 p Oh well. A stick banging on the glass is going to win an extra 2p or something. Alright Wine, so we're in a new place. What does that mean? We have to visit the Weatherspoons. So here we are, the Albert and the Lion. So um, let's do the walk in, which is always awkward because people look at you with a camera. So <laughs> let's give that a go. Alright, let's go in. It's always so awkward, these people just look at you. It's a little bit harder because we have a pram as well. After you, Wine, so I'll be... Blimey, it's busy at this weather spoon, so we're not going to find a table. I have half a pint of knee buckler, real ale. Wine's not the orange cordial. Theo's just had his nappy changed in the toilet. You look where the spoons Theo. Oh, Theo looks where the spoons. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna enjoy our drink now. He's angry though. <laughs> so Theo keeps looking at everybody at the bar though. It's very interesting. The people that come to where the spoons in Blackpool. Okay. It's looking at all the people as they pass. Looking at people, yeah? <laughs> Alright, and now we're here at the world famous, the world famous one pound burger. I've seen this on YouTube a few times, so it should be good. Alright, so we just got our food. It's getting, starting to get quite busy. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was a pound a pound of burger and pound of hot dog, so I got us each a pound burger and a pound hot dog. You want to try the hot dog one? Yeah. You don't like it? It's very salty and the bread is... and the bread is crap. Oh dear. Find this for food. <laughs> so you want to try the burger? I'm try the pound burger. Cheap, cheap meat, but what can you expect for a pound? Fine. That's what you expect in most cafes. Normally you pay about three quid for this. It's the same quality, so it's only a pound. Good. All right, we're at Coral Island. And we're gonna go on the little train that goes around. So just to the entrance there. And we're gonna go on a train that goes all around the play area. Are you excited? It'll be fun, coming. All right, so we're on the ride now. Yeah. And here we go. So we go all the way around Coral Island. It costs two pound each, this, so about four quid. Four pound in total this. Yeah, look at this, go all the way around. Oh, it's 
getting scary now. Oh, all that treasure line. There's a turtle. Here we go around again. into the hotel now and um, yeah it's really good so we actually have two beds which is really good we have a double bed and a single bed when I booked it I thought it was just a double bed um, and Theo would have to sleep in a cot but now I've got my own bed <laughs> so uh, wine and Theo is gonna sleep in a double bed and I'm gonna sleep in a single bed it's perfect uh, we've got a TV wardrobe and then we have a little bathroom all nice and clean. Yeah, so we've got toilet and shower. What more could you want? So non sweet. And the lady who just checked us in, where was she from, Wine? Philippines. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Filipina checked us in as well, which yeah. is quite funny. Um, so, yeah, this was £55 a night. So, three okay. nights we're staying here. So, that's £165 in total. I'm good at maths, aren't I, Wine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you can't really argue. This is brilliant for the price. Yeah, We've Good. paid a lot more and got less than this, so yeah. um, it's good. clean. The main thing is it's, it's clean. clean. Yeah. Um, that's that's the main main thing, and it is so it's perfect. And 
So right, we're going to relax for a little bit and the next time you see us we'll be going back into town. Yeah. All right. All right, so um, we're just walking back to the hotel now. Um, it's really, really nice look. Sunset. Nice little sunset on Blackpool Beach. So we've just been to the Blackpool Dungeons, uh, which is in the Blackpool Tower. Yeah. Uh, you're not allowed to film in there. We had the GoPro with us and as soon as we were entering, we're like, you're not allowed to film. So we couldn't film any of it, unfortunately. But it was really good, to be honest. I really liked it. What yeah. did you think, Wine? Yeah, it was very scary. <laughs> <laughs> it was really scary. Um, Theo, Theo was crying. The whole time. Yeah, well, he cried for about the first, he cried for the first 20 minutes. And then, um, and then wine just uh, fed him for a little bit, like quiet, and that made him a bit quiet. Um, yeah, Theo didn't like it that much, to be honest. It kept getting dark a lot, and there was a lot of loud noises, so it wasn't really good for a baby. And at the end, there was a little like a uh, little ride where you could go on. Um, only I could go on it because babies weren't allowed, so why not stay with the baby? Basically, um, you just you're in like it's kind of like a roller coaster, but it's not. You just go up this thing, and then it just drops down. Um, so you get like a you know, that pit of your stomach where it, you, it lifts up, kind of like that. Um, yeah, it was quite good. For, 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 it was £40 though, so for 40 quid, I don't think it was worth the money. I think it was worth half of that, but um, it is what it is. It's, we paid it. We had a fairly good time, but not yeah. 40 quid's worth of good time, if you know what I mean. What did you think about the dungeons? The, the, dun the dungeons are... It's nice, really good. It's it's worth the price. It was too scary. <laughs> you were really like scared. It. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really, really long. Yeah, maybe forty minutes long. No, it's over an hour. Really? Yeah, it was yeah. just about an hour and ten minutes, something like that. Yeah, sure. It's it's worth the money, to be fair. Yeah, you thought it was worth the money. Okay. Yeah, and then you know you expect that there would be a pint of beer, but they oh. just gave you like a bottle. Don't get me started. So. At the end, I paid like an extra four pounds because they said, "Oh, at the end we'll give you a like a, a tankard of uh, a beer." And I was like, "Oh, really? Wow, it's going to be like a pint tankard." And I thought it's going to be all nice and authentic, where you know you're drinking out of a tankard, you know, like they did in the Middle Ages. So I paid four pounds in advance for that. I go to the bar and I say, "Oh, I've got my voucher. Um, I'd like a, you know, a pint of whatever lager." There was there and they're like uh, no no you just get a bottle so they just gave me a bottle of beer mm. what well, you just buy from the supermarket for four quid <laughs> uh, so i was very disappointed with that i felt a bit ripped off but um yeah it is what it is isn't it and then after that we went to revolution um i bought it on groupon it was 25 quid you got two cocktails and then we got two main courses um it was really noisy in there, wasn't it? It's basically Revolution. It's a restaurant, but it's like a nightclub at the same time. So like one half is a nightclub with a dance floor and a bar, and the other half is a restaurant. But the music is throughout the whole place. So it's just like a nightclub, which, you know, we're, I'm 35, wife's 29. We have a little three month old baby. It's not really, uh, it's, it's not, not a good, ideal. yeah, it's not, it's not ideal to take a little baby into something like that. I had no idea Revolution was like that. It's just that it's really bad because we went to dungeons where um, music are really, really loud, you know, uh, come and go music and, um, you know, sudden music and it was too loud music. And then we go to Revolution, which is more louder and I cannot feel it in my ear anymore. Yeah. So, you know, we just took a three month old baby to two really loud places. So the poor baby's traumatized. Nah, not really. He's okay. But um, yeah, it was okay. Revolution, about the same, about the same quality as Weatherspoons, to be honest. Um, yeah. We both shared a chicken burger and a pepperoni pizza. It was okay, nothing special, nothing but special. it was like good. It. it was okay. But well, I didn't like it because of the loud music. But, no, um, no, no. The food, the food is not. There's nothing special to it. Yeah. You know the takeaway caprinos that we have in <laughs> in Chesterfield. It was. All it right. was way much nicer. Okay. And yeah. it's too expensive for the price. It's well, I got two I got two cocktails, so yeah, twenty five no, quid and but two main courses. Price if, if you buy it, I think it's not worth it. The price. All right. Okay. So, well, I thought the dungeons were worth the price, 
but Revolution wasn't worth the price and I think the opposite. I think Revolution was worth the price and the Dungeons wasn't worth the price. So, uh, yeah, husband and wife completely uh, disagree. <laughs> but never mind, that's what, it's, uh, that's what couples are for. So, uh, yeah, the sun has now set. But um, it's really nice now. It was raining a lot earlier. It was raining so, so bad. It got really wet. And yeah, that's the end of the first day. We're just going to go back to the hotel now, just relax, go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.